What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I took a little break from YouTube since probably say January, February. I was on a trip down south, I got out of shape, my appetite went downhill. Um, long story short, after my trip down south I, I came back. I decided to do a show so I had 13 weeks left to do it and uh, I went for it. A few nights ago I decided to pull the plug. I only had three weeks left to get through but in all honesty that felt like five years you know until you go through the you know what it takes to actually get ready for for stage and you know while you're working a full-time job it's uh it's not easy i was uh i was literally dying you know i i was i was the most miserable i ever was in my life and i just said you know i was in the gym one evening um i don't even know how i got there i don't even know how i drove home i felt drunk i was that messed up but anyway i was in the gym i could barely even lift anything you know i had three weeks left to go i had 10 pounds to lose so I got home, I was in the shower, and I was like, you know what? What the hell am I even doing this for? The most miserable I ever was in my life, hands down. Couldn't sleep in past 3.30. Had to get up, stay up all day, work 10 to 12 hours, somehow get home, get the energy to go to the gym and do my cardio. Nah, it wasn't worth it to me anymore. I couldn't take three weeks off work. I couldn't quit my job. So um, I decided to pull the plug, and I have no regret. I'm honestly happy as a pig in shit here now. So of course, the first thing I'm going to do is do a 15,000 calorie challenge because why the hell not? Like, why the hell would I do something that, that makes me unhappy? You know, I could die tomorrow, and uh, I would if I do die tomorrow, I would have been miserable. And now if I die tomorrow, at least I'll be happy. So I'm going to do, continue doing me, going to the gym, actually enjoying my workouts and being strong again, having energy, being able to go to go to my job and you know go to work, do my job, and now I'm going to continue my. Uh, my YouTube. I'm gonna do uh, one food challenge every week and today I'm starting with 15,000 calories. <laughs> and again I don't think this is gonna be very hard. It's currently 510 Sunday June 24th. I got this day planned out over the course of five meals and uh, it ain't, it's not hard. It's not gonna be uh, hard. And honestly 20,000 is not gonna be hard either. But anyway, let's get this started. So yeah, like I said, my mic died not long ago. I had to replace the battery. It'll be fine for the rest of the video. But um, so basically, yeah, this is my first meal. Um, I was starved to death. I woke up around five o'clock, as you guys seen. Uh, I had four bagels, uh, six tablespoons of jam, sixty or uh, sixty grams of peanut butter, four pop tarts, four cheese slices, six slices of uh, maple flavored maple flavored bacon and six teaspoons of uh, light butter. And uh, it doesn't seem like a lot of uh, food volume wise, but uh, it was roughly 4,000 calories and it was sitting pretty heavy on my stomach. But yeah, anyways, I'll let you guys enjoy the video. So yeah, I'm just about to take the last bite of my Pop-Tart, finish off my first meal, and I'm just ending out the first meal here now. You just don't know what I'm saying. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at uh, Tim Hortons. 
All right, what's up guys? We just got to Tim Hortons. This is meal number two going down the hatch and I am stoked. It's 11, 12 in the morning now. I haven't had my first meal since around five o'clock and I'm good to go. I took a nice shower after that and had a nap and now I'm feeling great. Just a little dehydrated though because my first meal was like 4,000 calories, a lot of fat and carbs and definitely a lot of sodium. Uh, mainly all savory stuff, a couple pop tarts, nothing big. So this meal is kind of like more more sweets like donuts and possibly some ice cream from Dairy Queen afterwards. And I apologize for the for the first meal. I, I watched it on my computer and um, I think there's something going on with my mic because it never recorded any of the sound. Which is weird because I recorded my intro fine when I had the, when I set up my camera for my meal uh, for my first meal. It uh, it didn't record any sound which sucks and it rots me because it had me four in the past so I think I just need a new mic because I unplugged it a couple times and plugged it back in and it still didn't work. I, I, I have it unplugged now and I'm just using the sound that's being recorded from the camera so it might not be as good but it probably, you know, it'll be good enough. It's going to have to be for today because this cheat day will continue. It's always funny when I'm going through a drive through and there's a camera stuck up in my window. Everyone's just looking like, what the hell is he at? What the hell's in his window? And it's like, this is such an uncommon thing here in Newfoundland. Like, you never see anyone going around recording themselves. Like, it's like, people look at you like you have ten heads. I guess that's like that anywhere, but it's definitely like it here. I think it's just more of a common thing, like, you know, down in the States or up in, like, you know, in the Toronto somewhere. Hi, go ahead, do it Yes, can I get uh, six donuts, please? Sort of fine. Uh, no, I, can I get, uh, do you have any of those racist donuts there right now? I'm not sure. I'm being told I don't. Okay. Uh, can I get one honey crawler? Mm -hmm. uh, one Canadian maple. Mm -hmm. One honey dip. Mm -hmm. uh, apple fritter. I don't have any available today, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Boston cream? Yeah. Do you have any cinnamon rolls? Yeah. All right. Can I get a glazed cinnamon roll and a strawberry filled donut? Okay. Anything else? Uh, yes. Can I get a bottle of water, please? And. Uh, a, a medium coffee with two milk. And will that be everything? Yes, please. Our honey over to Liz Boyd V967, drop ahead. Thank you. You're welcome. Donuts? Yep. Okay. Bottle of water? Bottle of water. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. See ya. See ya. Alright, I am pumped. I am definitely parking right now and down in these donuts. Definitely not waiting to go home. I'm just gonna park over here where there's no one around. So thirsty right now. I might have pissed like once since this morning at 5 and I've drank like 1.5 liters. I feel like a water buffalo. Oh look at this, a ladybug. Poor thing. Come on. Oh no. He fell. Alright, the moment of truth. Look at this. That's what I call delicious donuts. Okay, I only went with six donuts for now, but I'll see how I feel after this. I think I might go to Dairy Queen or something. I'm gonna start with the original Boston cream. This is like an OG donut for me. Man, I love cheat days. I was gonna go home, eat these donuts, and eat some cereal, but I think I'm just gonna eat these donuts and get like a, a blizzard or something from uh, Dairy Queen. Why not, right? They got a bunch of new ones out that I might, you know, wanna go try. Or I might just get the strawberry cheesecake one like I always do. All right, next we're gonna go with the cinnamon glazed. Look at that. Look at that. That's a trick with these um, calorie cheat days or whatever you're doing on like a massive cheat day. You can't just eat all sweet foods. You gotta go from like savory to sweet. Cause you just get like sick of it. 
I'm pretty upset they never had any Reese's donuts left though. They're pretty good. I should have got another bottle of water, I'm parched. Alright, next we got honey dip. You can't go wrong with honey dip. Oh my god. I find it funny how people actually struggle to eat the 10,000 calories in one day. Like there was a few people on YouTube that I've uh, I've watched and they and you know, they failed. It took them two or three tries. I'm like, man, are you serious? How can you not eat 10,000 in one day? Like, how can you not? Like, how is that hard? Next, we got a strawberry filled donut. That's pretty. It's pretty good. Next, I'm going to go with the Honey Cruller. I'm going to save the Canadian Maple for last because it's probably one of my favorites as well. Look at that. Focus. These were pretty good as well, but when I ate 12 in 3 minutes before, I kind of got sick of them. It was like almost 4,000 calories gone in 3 minutes, and uh, when that hit me, it hit me hard. Last donut, Canadian maple. It's basically like a Boston cream, but it's like a maple sauce on the top, and it's delicious. Well, the donuts are gone. I'll catch you guys at Dairy Queen. Time to go get a blizzard. Hi there, what can we get for you? Yes, uh, what, what are your new flavors of uh, blizzards that you have? Of the blizzard? Yeah, there's like, isn't there a bunch of new ones you have right now? Uh, we got the strawberry cheesecake, we got the Jurassic Chomps, we got Squirrel Caramel Brownie, Cotton Candy, Peanut Butter Cookie Dough, S'mores. Okay, what's that berry cheesecake? I, I usually always get the strawberry cheesecake. Uh, yeah, it's just a different mix of berries. It has like raspberries and blueberries. And okay, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go with the original, uh, the Royal New York Cheesecake one. The Royal? Yeah, the Royal New York Cheesecake. Okay, what size? Uh, medium. Medium? Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, that'll be everything. Okay, yeah, that's 723. Thank you. There you go. There's some extra strawberry in it. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Oh, we're Sweet. Extra strawberry. Extra calories. But I won't count them. I gotta look this shit up, because honestly, I don't know. I didn't think there was a thousand calories in this, but uh, maybe it is. If it is, that's crazy. Like I said, how do you not, how can you struggle getting 10,000 in? Even 15. It's not that hard. Just don't go eating broccoli and fucking lettuce. I'm not gonna be a d but they're supposed to turn this upside down or my next one is free. And uh, they couldn't turn this one upside down because it's half melted. Still good though. I'll get the total calories of this last meal, donuts and this, and post it on the screen somewhere right here. This is so good. Never had one in so long. I was just dieting for 10 weeks, which is great. Lost 30 pounds. Well, it was too short. Not to enjoy blizzards. So good. I'm eating it pretty quick though, and I'm on the verge of getting brain freeze. Ah! 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 Shit! Ah! I don't know why that makes me want to cough, but it's like I gotta cough up the brain freeze or something, you know what I mean? You must have felt like that before. It helps. <laughs> oh man, it's so good. I find these blizzards, medium is like lots of big. The uh, the large ones are like massive, and it's kind of sickening by the end of it. It's like 1,500 calories or something. This is what I call happiness. Happiness in a cup. If you're having a bad day, Oh shit, got it again. Ah. <coughs> ah. <sighs> ah, yeah. If you're having a bad day, go to Dairy Queen and get yourself a blizzard. A, ro a, a royal New York cheesecake blizzard at that. Your day will be great. Meal number two, down the hatch. 
roughly 7,000 calories in. Like I said, that's a joke. It is 11.44. I'm gonna go home now and chill out for a little bit, probably hit the gym. And then get meal number three on the way home, which will be Wendy's and my go-to Baconator combo. And maybe back to Dairy Queen for some chicken strips because their chicken strips are bomb. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next meal. Peace. All right, what's up guys? Uh, just got back from Wendy's and Dairy Queen. Gonna take down meal number three here now. It's probably one of my go-to meals. Uh, Baconator combo with an extra Baconator, large fries. And then I went with the uh, six-piece chicken strip basket from Dairy Queen. In my opinion, they have the best chicken strips around. Um, this meal comes in at about, I think it's around 3,000, 3,500 calories. Yeah, this meal is around 36, 30 calories. I'll put it on the screen and put all the total calories right here. So yeah, just so you all know, it's uh, Sunday the 24th still, 3.56 in the afternoon. So it's the same day. And this is meal number three and I have two meals left. So yeah, let's just get this started. Look at that beauty. Yeah, I actually love Baconator, so like, hands down best burger, but um, I've been thinking about trying a 10 Baconator challenge. Leave a comment below if you want me to see, if you want to see me do it, and be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Oh, and also, if you're new to the channel, be, be sure to hit the subscribe button in the bottom uh, right-hand corner, and also hit the bell, so uh, any time I uh, upload a video, you'll get a notification. <laughs> I've been using the no sugar added ketchup, but it's not nearly the same as the regular ketchup that you get with like, you know, the packs uh, from the restaurant. The best chicken strips around, Dairy Queen mm -hmm. chicken strips. Look at that. Beautiful. That's a wrap. That was meal number three. I'm probably gonna wait another three or four hours and then the next meal is gonna be nachos, garlic fingers, and wings from Pizza Delight. I'm looking forward to that. And I just got one meal left and that'll be 15K done. All right, I'll see you guys in the next meal. All right, what's up guys? Uh, just about to start meal number five. It is eight o'clock in the night, still the same day, June 24th. I'll show you for proof for all the non-believers. Mm -hmm. I think the calories is around 3,500. Uh, no, 2050. And after this, I have one meal left for another 3,000 calories to hit me, and that'll get me to 15,000. I'm not that hungry right now, but I'll be able to get this down for sure, no doubt. I'll be pretty full after this, though. It probably has a lot to do with the fact that I went to a sushi buffet last night around 6 o'clock and I ate 60 pieces. And normally I wouldn't do that before the day before a challenge, but uh, I, just, I just stopped the show prep, so why not? I enjoyed that last night and I'll enjoy this now too. Alright, so we got barbecue chicken nachos. Best nachos around. Barbecue boneless chicken wings. Never had them before, but they look and smell amazing. And garlic fingers with bacon and donair sauce. Amazing. All right, try these wings out. Pretty good. I haven't been timing my meals just because there's nothing to do with speed, this overall calorie intake, so. But I'm gonna time this one just for a laugh. If you haven't had these nachos before, I suggest you go do so. They're way better if you go in and sit down though. A lot fresher. Let me go ahead and try some garlic fingers. Switch it up. Oh yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll put the total calorie count on the screen somewhere right here. I also just had like six, or no, three Subway cookies, because I was at a, a friend's gender reveal, just then, just to find out what kind of baby they're having. Anyway, she's having twins. I had three Subway cookies, and I can't count that because it wasn't on video. So that's another 600 calories, but I'm not going to count it anyways because it was a joke. Nachos are gone. Two garlic fingers and four chicken wings left. I'm getting full.
Irish chicken wing. Starting to feel, starting to feel slightly drunk. Nine minutes and 28 seconds. Not too bad. All right, it wraps up meal number four. It's kind of hard to talk or even think about what to say when I'm feeling this drunk on food. So I'll see you guys in the next meal. Peace. Done. What? What? Oh. Uh, there you go. All right, guys, we're back for the last meal. Meal number five. 12,000 calories deep. We got 3,000 left. Gonna end it off with some Swedish fish, double stuffed Oreos, seven servings of Oreo ice cream. The shit is the bomb. And some Miss Vicky's chips. It's basically half a big bag. Just wanted to get a bit of everything. I was pretty full there for a little bit after that last meal, but I'm feeling all right now because that was around 8 o'clock and it's 11.43 now. Still the same day, June 24th, for proof. 11.43. I had to uh, change into shorts and tank top because my body's producing that much heat now. Just trying to pr process all the carbs and fat. At the end of the day here, well, 15,000 calories. We got 454 grams of protein, 1,771 carbs, 678 fat. So you can imagine what I'm feeling like. Anyways, I'll, I'll post the total calories on the screen somewhere right here. Let's do this. I'm gonna start with the ice cream just because I don't want it to melt. Oh yeah, and by the, by the time I've done this meal, I'll, I would have consumed 25,000 milligrams of sodium. So needless to say, I'm really dehydrated. I'm feeling like a water buffalo. I don't have any ankles left. Yeah, I just feel like very watery. And I'm not like, I'm not peeing very much, but I am drinking a lot because I'm so like dehydrated, but it's not really doing anything. I'm just holding on to it. I need to get some ice from my water. I don't really like drinking warm water. Even though I'm, I'm eating ice cream, but still. Mm -hmm. Ice cream's done. Double stuffed Oreo sandwich. Look what I got here. Look at this. What are you doing? What are you doing up there? Say hi to the say hi to YouTube. Oh Jesus. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Alright. I have four double stuff Oreos left. I'm not really enjoying those chips at all. They're like too much sodium. Like I can't handle any sodium right now. But uh, yeah, look at this. Yeah. Four double stuffed Oreos. I'm gonna see if I can do it in one bite for a laugh. Feeling sugar hitting me. I gotta get through this. I'm getting really warm. My cat's on the table again. What are you doing? No, no, no. Come on. You're down. Ugh. Ugh. I'm feeling drunk right now. So much liquid in my stomach and food. Jesus! Ah! Uh.
No. Go on. Get it away. I'm getting close. <sighs> Last two candy. I am done. It is 12, 10, June 25th. Just finished the challenge. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I can't reach. Either way, I can't really say much right now. I'm literally feeling drunk as hell. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.